I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I just woke up. So if my hair's bad, that's why, okay? <laughs> I promise I don't have corona. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So on my Instagram, I told you guys to give me some questions I could do a Q&A video over and you guys did. I have a lot of questions to work with here. So yeah, this is the Q&A video. We are so close to 600 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel or if you are already subscribed, go ahead and tell your grandma, your grandpa, your kids, uh, your pets to subscribe to because the grind to 600 subs is real. Also, if you could leave a like on the video, I would really appreciate it. This just shows me that you guys are liking what I'm putting out. Now let's get into the Q&A video. Question number one, what is your favorite sport to watch? My favorite sport to watch right now is college basketball. I enjoy it more than watching NBA because I feel like I can learn more and it's more relatable to me to watch college basketball rather than the NBA. Yeah, so that's what I watch the most. What kind of workouts do you do daily? So typically on a normal day, not all this corona stuff going on. I would wake up before school, go to the YMCA, get a lift in, and then after my lift, I would shoot a little bit and then I'd head to school. After school, I'd go back to the gym and do a skill workout. I actually invested in a workout program by Elite Guard Training. That's the program I use. I'll leave a link to the channel below so you guys can check it out. It's really good. It really helped me make that jump from junior to senior year. I have to give a lot of my credit to that program, but you gotta stay consistent on it for it to work. So if you're interested, I definitely recommend go checking that out. Question three, how do you put your faith into your basketball life? Okay, so for me, faith is a big thing. Me and my dad pray together before every game. Now, unlike radio interviews and newspaper interviews, I make sure to say something like, all the glory to God or something like that, just so people know faith is something I value greatly. And then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I do to include faith into my basketball life. Question number four, what was your favorite high school game and your best? My favorite game or the game I had the most fun in playing in would probably be either the sectional final last year that sent us to the convo or our first game at the convo. Those was probably the most fun games for me to play in just because they were really exciting and it was a great atmosphere. If you don't know, the convo is the gym at Ohio University. Once you make it so far in the tournament, you get to play there. So it's a really cool experience and we got to experience that last year. As far as my best game goes, if we're talking about scoring wise, I scored 38 points this year against Washington Courthouse. That was my highest career scoring game. But if we're talking overall, I I'd say my best game ever would probably be, in my opinion, the Hillsborough game at Hillsborough. I think I had like 29 or 30 points, but the game was really tight the whole way and it kept going back and forth and I had a lot of clutch moments in the third and fourth quarter. So that's probably my best game just because I came in clutch in some moments and I was able to score the ball and I also passed the ball well that game too. What's your favorite food? I've been eating a lot of pizza lately during this quarantine. So right now I'd say pizza. Favorite sport to watch other than basketball, college football, go Bucks. How has your teammates affected your career? I would say my teammates played a different role for me every year. My freshman year, I'd say they humbled me. I was a freshman, so I had to carry the bags, the water cooler, stuff like that. My sophomore year, I would say they pushed me. During that year, I was with a group that really wanted to try to turn things around and win. So they held me accountable. They pushed me. If I did something wrong, made a bad pass, they let me know about it. Junior year, I would say they inspired me. As I said earlier in the video, we had the chance to go play at OU my junior year. And then we had Cooper Donaldson, the 1,000 point scorer on my team. That inspired me not only to work harder to try to achieve the team stuff that we did, but it also gave me a taste of that 1,000 point mark and I wanted to be a part of it. So I just worked really hard so I could achieve that. In my senior year, they allowed me just to have fun. I had a lot of fun with this group this year. All of us were friends. There was no beef. So we all just got along really well together and honestly had a lot of fun, which is probably why we had the best season Jackson's ever had. We were 20 and four, which tied the record in most total wins in a season. What advice do you have for younger undersized ballers? If I could give undersized players two big pieces of advice, it would be this. One, outwork everybody. Whether that's in practice, at a game, at a showcase, hustle, defense, stuff like that. And that would get the scouts attention. Two, stay confident. There's going to be a lot of obstacles thrown your way, a lot of doubters thrown your way, but you got to stay confident and trust the work you put in. If you put in the work, the confidence will come. Yeah, so those are definitely the two pieces of advice I lived by growing up. I would highly suggest you guys did as well if you're undersized. What keeps you motivated? I would say the love of the game, but also competition. The more competition thrown my way and the more good players on my team means the harder I'm going to work. So if I have other good players around me that are putting in hard work, it's just going to make me work harder. How did school interact with sports? School definitely is very important, so I always put that first. But trying to get exposure in basketball and keeping up with my school work was pretty pretty hard to do, if I'm being honest. Early in my high school career, I was traveling two hours out of town to go to AAU practices. I would literally be doing homework in the car on the way there. And sometimes I'd be so tired that I would have to sleep there and sleep back and wake up super early before school to get my homework done. So I definitely made sure I got all my stuff done because that's the most important thing. But it did make it difficult for me at times. This question's from my friend, believe it or not. Are you considered a midget? According to Google, I am not. How hard was it to get where you were today? It took a lot of hard work. And the biggest thing for me is it took a lot of sacrifices. There was nights that my friends would go out that I couldn't go out, either because it was too late and I had to wake up early in the next morning for basketball, or I had a tournament that day or a showcase that day. So it definitely took some sacrifices, but it was worth it. I mean, all the hard work and all the sacrifices was definitely worth it. If you could do anything different, what would it be? I wouldn't change anything. Through my high school career, I have no regrets. I would say that the things that I would maybe go change were things that taught me really good lessons that I apply to life every day to day. At the end of the day, I had no regrets. 
minutes of my high school career. Best person to ever defend you. That's an easy one. Vincent Roper from Chillicothe. The dude's a dog. <laughs> a straight dog. How are you going to balance school and basketball in college? I plan on doing it similar like I did in high school. I plan on just waking up a lot earlier, getting a lot of my work in then. That way I can focus on school the rest of the day. So pretty much just waking up early. What made you choose your college? I attended a camp for like eight years and really just fell in love with the program and its morals there. Built a really good connection with the coach there at the time. And then really I just fell in love with the campus. I love the idea that it's a small school. I like how it's close to home, how there's very little distractions. So really it just came down to it being the perfect school for me. The 18th and final question, ladies and gentlemen, what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you through high school? I would say the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me through high school would probably be when everybody started finding out about my YouTube channel a few years back. At this time I was uploading like gaming videos. They probably weren't the gaming videos you guys watch because they were really cringy. But yeah, teachers started watching them in their classroom while I was in there and that was really embarrassing. But hey, it got my views up. All right guys, that's going to do it for the video. I really I appreciate the support you guys have been giving me on the channel. I've gotten a lot of good positive feedback out of it. It means the world to me. I also want to thank everybody that asked me a question. This video would not be possible without you guys, so thank you. If you're enjoying my content and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, please. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Also, go ahead and comment, hashtag not a midget. Till next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.